Welcome everybody. In this video, I'm going to show you how to smooth a classified image using the Civ tool in QGIS. So we recently classified an image of Yellowstone National Park. And as with most classifications, we get a lot of isolated pixels or misclassified pixels that are kind of sitting off by themselves, maybe creating a speckled appearance. And so generally, if you're working towards creating a map out of your classified image, you want to simplify as much as possible, and you want to get rid of those isolated pixels. So what the sieve tool lets us do, it lets us sieve out the really small pixels, as in they fall through the sieve, and then we'll replace them with their neighboring values. Okay, so in case you're interested in other post-classification tools in QGIS, I compiled this list of relevant tools that might help you and we're just going to focus on the sieve tool today. So here is the description of the sieve tool if you want to get into the nitty-gritty, but we're about to explain it in, in plain language. And here's how it works. So imagine you have a classified raster, okay? Each pixel's been assigned to a class. Maybe G is ground, S is sand, W is water, and so on, okay? And the problem is that maybe you have some isolated clusters in here that aren't very big and you want to get rid of them, okay? So the way that the algorithm works is first it goes through and it identifies all the clusters. So it recognizes, okay, these three G pixels, these three G pixels are connected to each other. So let's name that cluster number one. These two S pixels are connected. All right, let's name that cluster number two. It gives an ID to every cluster in the whole raster and it measures the size of the cluster, how many pixels. So notice group six down here only has two pixels, okay? Same with group four and group two. So if, if they're small like that, maybe you wanna replace, you wanna sieve out all of those clusters that have you know, less than three pixels. So if we do that, we would then set those pixels null because they were part of very small clusters, okay? And then we would replace the empty pixels with the adjacent pixels, right? So these two uh, nulls get replaced with, um, you know, class one, group one here. Uh, in this case, one of them gets replaced with five, and one of them gets replaced with, uh, th with three or S and W. Um, and one thing to know about sieve function is that when it goes to replace the pixels, it, it replaces them with the adjacent values that are from the largest neighboring cluster. So the largest adjacent cluster gets priority as you decide which neighboring pixels to replace with. And one other important idea is that um, as the sieve tool is trying to figure out uh, how big a cluster of pixels is, there's two ways you can have it count. You can have it count clusters in terms of only the, um, the immediately adjacent or the four connected pixels, or you can have it count clusters in terms of the eight connected, where it would look at you know, whether it's the same value in all eight of the surrounding pixels or just in all four. All right, so let's jump into QGIS here. We've got this project. We classified an image from Yellowstone National Park. So far we have um, used re recode to consolidate some of the classes. We ran a majority filter on it that got rid of some of the other classes and, uh, excuse me, got rid of some of the smallest isolated pixels, but we still have some of these clusters here. So if you feel these clusters aren't real and you want to get rid of them to simplify this area, um, the sieve tool is a great way to do it. So here's the sieve tool processing toolbox. Um, we're going to do it on our most recent edition. Of course, you can do it on any, any raster or any classified image. Um, yeah, and that's actually an important point. You, you don't want to do it on any raster, only on classified images where you have a limited number of, of pixel values. Uh, so we'll do the filtered one. Um, <clears throat> oh, threshold size. What should we set the threshold size to? Well, just looking at some of these clusters, looks like some of these clusters maybe have 9 or 10 pixels in them. So let's, let's try a threshold of, say, 20. So anything that has less than 20 pixels is going to get sieved out. And let's use 8 connectedness as our metric. Uh, we will leave the output as a temporary file, and we'll go ahead. 
Okay, that ran really quickly. And here is our sieved raster. As always, it kind of does this funky display. So we'll go to properties, palleted, classify, get all those values up there, hit OK. So there it is. Uh, you can see that indeed we sieved out some of those smaller clumps. Excellent. Happy smoothing.